We got it. We just got the bird that we were looking for. We picked up. So good to see you again. Ooh. Road trip time. Alright, so I'm here with Hawken, as you can see and as you saw earlier, and we are here looking for a bird that can only be found in this area, in the state of Utah at least, and that is a Canada Jay. Canada Jays are extremely difficult to find in our state, but they can be found here at Mirror Lake in the state of Utah. So let's see if we can find them. Hawken tried a few weeks ago and was unsuccessful, but let's see if we can get this bird. That would be a lifer for both of us. So far, no sign of the Canada Jay. We really need a win here. We, uh, We've been missing on a lot of stuff, but that's how birding goes sometimes. We did pick up White Crown Sparrow to start off this trip, and we're making our way around the lake. The scenery out here is insane. It's so beautiful. We're gonna continue around the lake. It's about two miles of a loop, and I mean, my guess is we're gonna get to the parking lot and find the Canada Jay there because they like humans and stealing their food, but we'll see what we can find. Just got a pretty exciting bird, actually. This one's a lifer for Hawken. If you haven't checked out Hawkins' channel, it's Hawk in the Lens. Link in the description will be below. But we picked up a pine grosbeak. That's a bird I've only gotten on camera once in the past. Unfortunately, this was pretty backlit by the sun. I'll try to lighten the footage for you so you can so you can see it. But I heard it calling and I was like, that sounds like a pine grosbeak. Turns out it was a pine grosbeak. So got that on the list. That's an amazing bird to get. I've only seen that one once before. Got it on film then. And I've only heard them three or four times total so pretty awesome bird to pick up just picked up mountain chickadees on the list it's probably the most abundant bird here those and the white crown sparrows at least so still no sign of our canada jay but we've picked up some pretty cool birds so far super excited to see what else we can find we're going to continue around this two mile loop around the lake and see what else we can find probably some hopefully some sap suckers some woodpeckers stuff like that so we took a little break here at this picnic area but we did see a yellow rumped warbler and got that on camera those are absolutely beautiful birds they're really common warblers in the state of utah but always like seeing those and especially like getting those on camera we also picked up a western tanager really bright western tanager on camera as well so it was great to see that bird sitting here at the campsite or at the picnic area rather we did pick up a bald eagle soaring way out in the distance that was cool to see as well. So three really cool birds to add to our list to today. Unfortunately, no sign of the Canada Jay, but this is where we would find one if they are around and they are around. So we should be getting them. Uh, we'll sit here for a little while. And then if we don't get them, we'll walk through the campsites and see if we can find them there. Picked up a few more species that the list today. Picked up pine siskin. That's a really abundant bird in this area. We're now gonna walk through the campground, see if we can pick up that Canada Jay. Hawken thinks he heard a Clark's Nutcracker over here as well, so it'd be awesome to pick that bird up. And then I also picked up a dark-eyed Junko. Sorry about the wind, it just picked up while I started filming, which is usually the case. So we're gonna continue walking and see what birds we can find. All right, so no luck on the Canada Jay at Mirror Lake, unfortunately, but we're heading to Crystal Lake now where there actually seem to be reported in more abundance. Now, we finally got to the parking lot and we did pick up one of our target species, the Clark's Nutcracker. I got it silhouetted at first, but then I got it up in a tree. It's an absolutely beautiful silver and black bird. Now, the other thing is, is it's also a camp robber. Some people had some shelled peanuts and so we, I sat there and it came down and actually started stealing the peanuts from them. Make sure you secure your food because even though birds are, you know, cute and adorable, it's actually illegal to intentionally feed birds, at least in national parks. So you need to check your local laws on that as well. And obviously these people weren't feeding it, it was just stealing from them. So right situation, wrong camp robber. A storm is coming as well, so that's a little bit stressful, but we are going to Crystal Lake and we are going to find 
hopefully, this Canada Jay. All right, so we've run into a little bit of an issue. It started to rain, and so that's obviously not great for our camera equipment. It's great for birding though, so hopefully we get some bird action if the rain lets up here soon. It should, it doesn't look like it's that crazy outside. We are gonna ride uh, through some campgrounds real quick in the car just to see if we can pick out a Canada Jay, maybe film one from the window, and then we'll come back to this spot and go on another little hike. All right, we're now at our second location. It's known as Crystal Lake, and there's a few surrounding lakes around here. Obviously still looking for the Canada Jays, but in the parking lot, after the rain let up a little bit, we did pick up some red crossbills. Those birds are absolutely incredible. I just filmed those a few videos ago, but it's good to find them here in Uinta County. This is my first time birding in the mountains of Uinta County. So picking up red crossbills on our list. We heard them earlier for a while, but we finally got them on camera and they have that unique bill that allows them to get into those pine nuts to get that food for for their eating so pretty cool birds to see up here let's get this canada jay it's basically the last bird we need to get on camera for this trip picked up a bird that we both got a little bit excited about because it was silhouetted it was the right size for canada jay but turns out that it was an american robin so still no canada jay on our list but we are trying it's not for a lack of trying we are walking up and down down these trails hanging out in the parking lot for little bits and pieces trying to see if we can find the bird but let's see if we can we got it we just got the bird that we were looking for we picked up the canada jay and we had like three four maybe five of them mm -hmm. roll through here some of them had peanuts in their mouth so obviously someone is feeding them somewhere around here unfortunately but yes, we got the bird. You can only find them in this small range. Hawken, how do you feel right now? Uh, incredible. That's one of the birds I needed for my challenge. That means I only have 12 more to go, which is crazy to say, but definitely needed that one. So awesome to see it. Like your heart just starts racing and racing. You're like, there it is, there it is. I was like pointing to you once we started hearing them all around the parking lot, but incredible. Picked up a few more shots of the Canada Jay at a certain point if we get a lot more shots they don't stick around very long they land and then they just book it so hopefully we can see some more so what makes the canada jay such a special bird well first of all for the state of utah there's only a select few places that you can actually find them this area with mirror lake and the uintas is one of the more reliable areas to find them but for the rest of the state they're really difficult and rare so and then they kind of take a break and uh, you can't find them until you get uh, halfway up into Idaho. So they're a boreal forest type bird. So it's really amazing to get that for the state of Utah. I know some of you guys out in like Minnesota and stuff probably see them all the time, but we don't see them unless we come up to this very specific spot. Number two, they're also a camp robber. So the ones that we were filming seem to have like ruffles or something in their mouths. So they had just raided someone's campsite and brought food with them. So that was pretty cool. Historically, they used to be known as the Gray Jay, but then kind of more recently, they were changed to the Canada Jay. So that's what we have. They're a really intelligent bird, really cool to watch. We're gonna head back to the parking lot, see if we can get some more footage of them as we didn't find any on this little walk here. And I'll keep you updated on if we see anything else really cool during this trip. But finally, I broke my life or drought and Canada Jay is an amazing bird to get. Just saw a ruby crowned kinglet to add to our list for the day. So awesome selection of birds. We have seen pretty much everything that I would have wanted to see, including a pine grosbeak, which I wasn't expecting, but it totally makes sense. So amazing day of birding. We're on our way back to the car. There could be a few more species out there that we can pick up. Picked up another cool species that I don't always get to see, and that's the brown creeper. They're really cool because they climb up vertically up tree trunks, as opposed to a lot of birds that are horizontal but brown creeper down on the list for the day that's a great bird to pick up and then kind of obscured by the grass we did pick up chipping sparrow as well so we have a pretty robust list finishing off our birding heading back to the car i would love to get maybe one or two more shots of those canada jays because i just don't get to see them unless i come all the way out here it's about a two two-ish hour drive to get here so not super far but also 
not close enough that I get to see them all the time. So just an amazing day of birding so far. This is so refreshing after a little bit of a slump, but things have been awesome. Pulled over to a really beautiful lake called Lily Lake, and there wasn't a lot of bird action, but across the lake, way across the way, were two adult bald eagles. So that was pretty cool seeing them perched over and surveying the landscape. The storm is moving in. We have a few more lakes that we want to stop and see if we can find any birds and I'll keep you updated. This place is absolutely beautiful. All right, so we just wrapped up our trip. Unfortunately, the rain forced us out. There was no way we were gonna get any more birds. The rain's coming down again. Hawken, what was the highlight for you on this trip? I mean, what do you think? It had to be the Canada the Jay. The target species is absolutely gorgeous. It's so exciting to see it. There's an osprey right there, by the way. <laughs> Wait for it. It's flying right over. There we go! One more bird to add to our list. Classic bird tuber getting distracted by bird while he's exactly. trying to vlog. Make sure you go check out Hawkins' channel. Link to his channel will be in the description below. It's Hawk in the Lens. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite bird that you saw in this video. If you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links to my merch and my new membership program are in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Bright Eyed Birding. <laughs>